Hey everyone, welcome back to MechWarrior Black Knight. Congratulations on your promotion, Captain. In our next mission, firepower will be of the utmost importance. We have limited intel on what we'll be facing in the spaceport, and our support vehicles will be extremely vulnerable until we get to a defensible HQ. After the mission, I'll make contact with the Black Market. I'll report any findings in the Mech Lab Market roster. Check there to see what's available. Okay, so, um, as, as you notice, I've been cutting out basically the points of which I'm, I'm editing my mechs. Uh, mostly because I don't think it's interesting for you guys. Uh, and I've done plenty, I did way too much of that in my first stuff. So the mech I'm going to be rolling with today is the Vulture 12. It's the heaviest uh, mech I have, I think, right now. Um, if not, uh, if I'm wrong, then it is actually the one I want to use. Because it has two LRM-20s and uh, two PPCs. So... Uh, a payload of 40, 40 rockets, basically, and double PPCs. Uh, obviously, the kind of mech I would be wanting to roll with right now. Uh, and for my teammates, they all going to, going to be rolling with the... We have the Ry Ryukin, I think it's called. I think it's, like, it's like a Street Fighter character or something. Anyways, um, he's got some clan lasers and some L clan LRMs as well. You know, the clan weapons are amazingly so much better than the normal weapons. Like, look at the narc beacon. Like, it's like, weighs four tons, and the clan version weighs two. Yeah, you can't explain that. I don't know what else the other differences are. And the clans shoot farther as well, so it's like, well, why would I ever not use clan technology? We also have, we also have the bushwhacker, which is a, a nice little inner sphere mech. Uh, got, uh, it has an AC-10. I decided to outfit it with a C-Strike-6, which is a locking on short-range missiles, since most of my... Uh, Allies fight from closer range in ways, and I gave it an LRM-10 anyways. It's got some medium pulses as well, I didn't really care too much about that. And the last one is going to be the Uzeal PPC, which is unchanged uh, from the other one, because I don't have anything else that's much heavier than that. Figure that they'll be okay with that. Uh, so, that's basically it. So, I'm just going to outfit us with these mechs. He's not going to use the Hellspot anymore. Oh, uh, you can have the Bushwhacker, because I hate you. And you can have the Ryukin. Robert Olson. And we don't have anyone new, so I uh, guess there's not much else to do, but just to start it. Okay, Striker Lance, we're showing no mech activity in the spaceport. Once we touch down, get the tech vehicles clear ASAP. We'll get nav plots from Mandrel once we're on the ground. Intel reports two Calliope turrets flanking the main gate, so watch out for them. Eric, we've got trouble. The freighter captain reports that Drosari Rothgar has landed at another dock in the port. No troop disposition yet, but it's a military-class dropship. We have to get out of here fast. You heard the lady, Striker Lance. Engage Drosari units and clear a path for the APCs. Drosari? That from, uh... From another mech, uh, from Mech 4? Alright. Form up on me. Roger. 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 Where are the, uh, support vehicles? Yeah, these are some pretty cool uh, mechs we have going on here. I like the—I I really like the the bushwhacker. Looks like a convoy of missile tracks. Oh, there's some enemies over there. Uh, a mobile APU. That's got to get somebody's attention. Well, you know. Striker one, the Rothgar's reactor is offline. Better take the APUs out to keep it that way. Target destroyed. Uh, Attack your nearest target. Whoops, I think I just ran Roger. into something. Copy that. I can just hit them one by target one. Destroyed. I didn't hit this SRM carrier. Oh god, he hit me. Then he's gonna hit me. Okay, there you go. Target destroyed. I don't know if these things really do a hell of a lot of damage uh, up close. I'm assuming they don't. Target destroyed. This is an interesting, interesting mission we have here. Target Destroyed. Do we want to actually destroy this dropship? Oh, there's there's some APUs here. Yeah, I'm not I'm not exactly very good at uh. This is two. I read two mechs powering up inside the spaceport. Looks like a pair of ravens. These guys are everywhere. Keep it together, Striker Four. Remember, we still have to deal with a pair of calliopes outside the gate. Enemy detected. Take out designated target. Roger. Roger. That's a Roger. I think I just hit my ally. Don't, don't worry. I have I have lots of LRMs though. Damn it. Uh oh. 
Something's shooting me. I don't target even know where it is. Target destroyed. Target and bag. Attack my target. <laughs> you know, I've always Roger. Copy that. He honestly is the favorite part of this whole thing. Why is this guy shooting me? Get out of here. I don't even like you. Oh, what's my other optional? Uh, we have to destroy all the, the, the turrets over here as well. You know, I'll just let him, like, just chase after me. That's fine. Maybe I should just change the, uh... There you go. Now you can actually see, like, my actual little UI thing. I don't know if that really matters to you guys. Here, can I actually kind of, like, corner snipe this thing? Yeah, I can. Come on. Target's terminated. Target destroyed. Target and bag it. I'm just gonna try missile it. Target destroyed. Nice. Alright, and then there's one more. It's the Kelopi whatever turrets. Might as well take them out. Nav point beta reached. These things are going to be really easy to take out, so I might as well do them on my own here. The PVCs do generate, though, a lot of heat, so you got to kind of be careful of that shit. The base is clear of hostiles. Convoy is moving to Nav Beta. Continue on course to Gamma. Marking escape point as Nav Delta. Close up and form on me. Roger. 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 Well, that's not too bad. Uh-oh. Demolisher. Whatever the hell that means. You know, we've only faced, like... Really crappy vehicles. I wonder why they call it Demolisher. Because they're about to get demolished, no. Whatever, I'll just fire more missiles at you. Wow, uh, these things have a lot of health. Usually they die at about, like, a little bit of health, but nope. Oh, they have PPCs, fuckers. I'm coming after you. Inbound heavy choppers heading one, three, zero. You know, it's good that they have sniper loadouts too. Target destroyed. Uh, I, I kind of don't want to go down there. Nav point gamma reached. Some choppers coming in, so let's let me go. Let me go missile this guy. You know, I have the missiles for some reason. Target destroyed. Oh wow. Okay, never mind. Because the missiles weren't necessary. So, so where are these so-called? Oh, the pedigrees. I miss these guys. Hey, what's up? No, no, take down the choppers. <laughs> These things were always cool, but uh, they're really no match for uh, what we have going here. There you go. Goodbye, choppers. Oh. Attack your closest target. Roger. Roger, lead. Roger. Target destroyed. You know, you, you think in the future they have like target jet fighters or destroyed. some shit. Oh, there you go. All the choppers are down. I think that's it. Target destroyed. Well, that was easy enough. I did take a fair bit of damage there on what? What did I take the damage on? Just the rear, uh, my rear torso. I don't know what hit me there. Vulture's a pretty cool mech. I like it, actually. It suits my, it suits my play style. It really does. It's that, the catapult, and, uh... Oh, damn. They have this, they have this one mech. It's absolutely ridiculous. Um, it, it has, like, fucking, like... Like, uh, an 80, 80 LRM salvo or something. Detected. It's amazing. I love it. Reading more enemy comm traffic looks like a mech patrol. Delta is no good for escape. Repeat, Delta is compromised. Marking new escape point, Nav Epsilon. Attack my target. Roger. Copy. Roger. We're just gonna LRM this shit out of this guy. How much ammo do I have in these things? Maybe I should uh, consider equipping more ammo. I like how I'm just gonna like long range this guy. He's depressed. Target finished. Target destroyed. Tag it and bag it. Form up on me. Roger. Copy. That's a Roger. Where's Nav Epsilon? Okay. You know there was just one mech there. Like it really wasn't a problem. I mean we literally took him out in like one second. We're we're like the best escort you could ever ask for. What's what's Epsilon have a bunch of shit there too? Oh, this isn't even an escape route. Damn it, I question you, game. I question every every decision you make. I guess we're gonna just chill out here. So some people were wondering why I'm not playing this in widescreen, and there are no widescreen mods for this. I think there is one for Mech 4 Mercs, which is the last Mech 4 game I will do. Uh, but... This one, this one doesn't. The, the engine was very specifically designed for like 4 by 3 ratio. Uh, so I, I can't do much about that. I, I have to play the game 
the way it was kind of intended. Also, like, I'm, I'm skeptical on widescreen hacks to begin with because sometimes they have adverse effects on the game itself, or they don't really make a difference because if the FOB today is Enemy the same. Detected. Hey, look, another patrol. Attack my target. Copy. Roger, lead. Copy that. Okay. Let's go over the hill and kill that guy. And I wasn't aware there was another one. And, like, I have an objective to basically intercept and destroy the Dusari mech patrol. So, he's just gonna, he's just gonna stand there, so it's like, you know, whatever. By the way, I'm not a very fast mech, but that doesn't really matter to me. Enemy detected. And there's something else there, too. We're just gonna be over here, because this is like the best sniping position I could possibly ask for. And I'm kind of like, weirdly an odd position I'm in. Oh look, it's a hell spawn. Oh, how cute. He thinks he's mech. It's, they're hard to snipe out though because they're fast little fuckers. The thing about the mech warrior universe is that um, the mediums are considered to be actually the workhorse, kind of uh, like they do all the they do all the work basically. The only reason you you have like heavies and stuff is to like they're actually pretty rare. I'm flushing my coolant. I might as well flush it all the way. We're almost done this mission, so... Oh wow, there goes my rear armor. Well, all those guys are... all my other friends are taking out the other stuff, so... Warning. Heat exceeding recommended level. Come on, it, it shouldn't take very much to take this guy out. Oh god. Maybe I should get like my friends to come help me out here. Nah, we'll be okay. Hopefully I don't die. Maybe I should consider putting some more rear armor on this guy. Target destroyed. Alright, well, uh, where's the Cyrus? Attack my target. Roger. Copy. Roger. Oh my god, you guys are fucking horrible. How have you not like dealt like did a little dent in this guy? It's like freaking Osiris. It's a pretty shit mech to be honest. Hopefully the our escort isn't been getting fucked right now. I just kinda wanna take out all these guys. I feel I feel obligated to. And it's like it's running away. What a piece of shit. Okay, so someone get him, I swear to god. You'll get a promotion if you do. Okay, come on. Take That's the last of them, sir. Roger, Striker 3. Striker Lance, rendezvous with convoy en route to Nav Epsilon. Let's get out of here. Target's terminated. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. Move out to my nav point. Roger. 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 Yeah, I don't know what S2... No, maybe S2 is not what I thought it was. So I thought my rear armor was getting taken out. What is S2? I have no idea. Because, okay... From left to right, all these bar graphs that you see, it's um, it's he uh, head or the cockpit or whatever. Left torso, center torso, right torso, left arm, right arm, right leg, left leg. And then you have rear torso, which is basically the rear uh, the, the rear center mass of, of uh, mechs in, in mech rear games are always weaker because they're always usually facing their target. So it's kind of like how in some games like tanks are weaker from behind because they don't expect like the tank is always facing its target and so they they armor the most in the front that's basically how it works here um this s1 and s2 though i have absolutely no idea what that is and also when i go back to here it also appears to be depleted over there s1 whatever it is maybe like salvo or something i don't know whatever nobody truly knows Math point epsilon reached striker one this is mandrel we're showing immediate area clear of hostiles. We should be in pretty good shape. Steiner intel on this area shows an abandoned mine six clicks east of here. It should suffice as a temporary HQ while we plan our next move. Affirmative. I'll take point. Well, we got a health spot out of that. Also, some medium X lasers and uh, an LBX AC 20. Nice. All right. Fortunately, my vulture counts as being damaged, which is not good. That means I can't use it next round. 
Also, so does it use zeal. Fuck. Well, we're not gonna have much uh, next for uh, next uh, thing. Wonderful. All right. That was a bit hairier than I expected, but we made it through. We've started picking up local broadcasts from the government media and local opposition groups. It appears Dressari is really in a messy situation here. Shortly after the death of his sister, several key advisors broke from his side and began a rebel movement under the banner of the KFA, Kentare's Free Army. Political dissidents are being rounded up into camps, and the conflict has escalated to battlefield aggression. This may make our job a lot easier. Until we go after the modals, we'll need to keep one mech warrior with TACCOM for local security. You'll have to run the next few missions with only two landsmates. 